Hey everybody, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I'm going to show you how to create a locked content opt-in form using the Bloom opt-in plugin made by Elegant Themes. And what you want to use this particular opt-in for is, let's say that you had a, a blog post or something for a download, like download a video or download an image or a PDF, and you wanted to ask people for an email address before you gave them access to that download link. Well, this plugin is a great way to do that. And it's very easy, very simple. I'm gonna walk you through it really quick. So let's go ahead and start here. I'm in the, the Bloom options in our WordPress dashboard. So we just start off by clicking on new opt-in opt and we're gonna click on locked content. And then once that comes up, we just wanna put a name in and this is for your reference. I'm gonna call this locked content form. And then you go ahead and set up your, your email provider settings. Um, if you look back a couple tutorials, I walk you through how to connect this with MailChimp and get the account all set up and pull in your lists. So right now we're just picking our email provider, the account, and then the list we wanna put people on. So that's all we need to do on that page. And the next is gonna be the design. And we want something that's gonna catch the eye, but we just want something that's pretty simple and all we're asking for is an email address. So I think I'm gonna pick this one. That one will stand out pretty well. And you can use these as either finished products or just starting points. I won't go too much into the details on how to go through and customize everything. I, I take care of that in another one of these tutorials for the opt-in plugin. So check them all out and you kind of get the full picture of what this is, but I'll just go through this really quick because we want to make this one um, a little more tailored. So subscribe to our newsletter to download this video. I'm going to add this to a page I've got a video on already. Join our mailing list to receive latest news and updates from our team. So this up here is like the main header image or the main title. And this is kind of our kind of our message, a little bit more information. And at any time, if you want to look at how this is going to appear on the page, you can click here on this preview button and that'll pop up your email um, subscribe form. So we've got subscribe to our newsletter to download this video. We've got all this. We got the email address. I think that's pretty much how I want it to look, but I'll just go through these options really quick. So here we've got our image settings. You can upload your own image and you can also change the orientation if you want it to the left or the right of the text, if you want it on top. And then we can even have an animation for when the image pops in. And of course we can hide it on our mobile devices if we want to save some space. So now we've got our styling for kind of the top of the form. We've got a background color, fonts, um, pick a text color, choose whether or not you want to round your corners. And then the form setup. You've got form on bottom because the email field and the button are on the bottom of the form. We can move that to the right or to the left if we want to. And we can also add a field for the name or two fields, one for the first name and one for the last name. And then of course we've got our email text and this is the text that shows up in the field. So if we want to put email address or something a little more subscription, subscriptive, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And this field here is for the email form. So we can put in um, email, email address if we want to be a little more descriptive. And then this is the text that goes on the button. Subscribe is what we've got now. And I'll, let me pull up the preview really quick to show you kind of the options we went through. So here was the background color, the first one we came into, and then we could choose the, the color of the text. We could choose whether the image is here or here or maybe on the top. And then here's where we put email and then the text on the button. So maybe I want to change that to um, download. So let's change this text to download. Download video. So when I pull that up and preview it, there it is, download video. I like that better. A little more of a call to action. Uh, the form styling, you could do your inline form fields or you could stack them on top of each other. You know, if they were to the right or to the left, you'd want them stacked. And we could even round the corners, um, change the text color. And then of course, we've also got the background color for the form and then a color for the button. 
and then our button text color as well. And these edge styles, um, you can do straight or a little bit of a dip. I'll pick that one just to show you really quick. This is that line between the form or the, the kind of description of the form and the form itself. So we've got like this little this little triangle in there or you can do um, you know like a big thing or kind of a swoop or with, this one looks like a picket fence pretty cool and those are just some little little added things you can throw into the form so here we have the footer text and this is if you want to put something underneath that email field maybe a little additional information we don't need to do that now and a success text message this is actually the the text that'll pop up once the form is shown so that you hit the submit button or that download video button and then it, the form actually goes away and a little bit of text. So let's put you've successfully subscribed. Now download your video. Spell check is, is so great. So you successfully subscribed, now download your video. And if we want to do some custom CSS, that's where we put it. We put it right here. And that's if you want to even go further outside of the options that you're given here in the form. So right now what we need to do is here is the that's the final step in actually designing the form. So if we click here on generate short code, this is going to give us the short code for this opt-in. So we just copy that. To our clipboard really quick and hit OK and then let's save this and this will pop us out into the list of the different opt-in forms that we've got. Okay so now that the page is up you can see this is the lock content form we just made and this button right here if you click on it it'll pop up that little short code option again so you don't have to go back into the form you can grab it right there. So now I want to go to the page that I'm actually gonna put this on. And here's what it looks like on the website. I've got just, it, this was my tutorial for the video module, walking people through how to add that to the web page. but I'm actually gonna put a link to say, say somebody wants to download this video. So I'm gonna put a button down here so that they can download it. So I'll walk you through that really quick. So I come in here to my edit page and then I wanna insert, insert a text module to put our short code in. Now you can do this one or two ways. First I'll show you the code way to do it and then I'll show you the other way. So we can come in here, we're in our text editor and we've got it set to the text, kind of the code option of the text editor built into Divi. So we paste that in and then you can see it's got two sections. You've got your, your first bracket here which shows which opt-in form it's gonna grab and then kind of the closing bracket. And this content that's on the in, in the middle here, this is what you're actually locking people out of. So once they fill out the form, they're going to have access to whatever I put in between those two brackets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a just a download link. And I'm actually not going to have the link go to anything. We don't need it to right now. Just a really simple link. So we've got our form, we've got our content, and I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to update the page. And then we'll bop over to the page we've got that we made the change to, and I'll show you guys. So now here we are. Subscribe to our newsletter, download this video, that's all in there. So we'll do scooby at do.com, click on download video, and then that shows us our download link. And this can be a button, you can get more extravagant with this if you'd like. I just wanted to show you guys a really simple example. So the, the other way that you can do this, which is a little bit of an easier route instead of going with the code, is let's pop back in here. I'm just going to grab... I'm going to grab this link, or just the text actually, and let's delete everything that's in there. And I click over here on visual, and now in the visual settings, I can come here, insert form, locked content, locked content form. 
and see it looks familiar. It drops my short code right in there for me. And then in here, I can paste my text, the download video text, and just turn that into a link. And right now I'm just using this hashtag just to make all of our lives simple. So now that we've got that done, we can just hit save and exit and then update the page. And that's how you do it. That's how you add a simple form in there to grab somebody's email address before you allow them to access some content on your website. I hope you found that helpful. Once again, my name is Jimmy Blevins and thank you so much. <music>